Last night, I stayed out for so long that it ended up being bright outside by the time I came home, which tells you how much partying I have done in the past year. This weekend is packed of med school related things to do. This afternoon, MSRC is holding a fair, which has apparently like got loads of different food, different activities, um, and it's like meant to be fun for all the family and any med student. And then tomorrow, I have the halfway graduation ball, but more on that tomorrow. But first, I am going to go to Spoons to get myself some food because I haven't eaten anything since like afternoon yesterday. Like it's been a full 24 hours and I'm starving. This is a very popular place to have a wedding. This is the like main town hall that's in Leeds. And there's always a wedding, like every like few weeks or every like other week, always a wedding going on. And because it's getting to the sunnier weather, well, more people are getting married. It's sunny, right? It's fine, don't need to. There you go, you're just gonna keep like You that. can just be nappy and that's it. So that is the MSRC fair over. It was fun, loads of activities, and someone won a hundred pounds, which is always a good day. I am now going to go back home, relax, and uh, actually, just that, I don't have any work to do. I don't have any studying to do. Oh my God, I'm not used to this yet. Oh, I have freedom. I have actual freedom. It's now Sunday, which means I can talk about the halfway graduation ball. So as this is the third year of medical school, and medical school tends to go on for about five to six years, this is the point where everyone collectively agrees that we are finally halfway through our degree. So to commemorate this, some of the medical students in the year group have decided to form a little committee and plan a big ball to celebrate the fact that we've completed three years of medical school and I am on that committee. This morning we will be going to the hotel where it will be happening and we are going to be setting up for the event. It is Oscars themed or like old school Hollywood themed um, so people are going to be coming in in that sort of clothing. I have no idea what that actually means. I'm just going to wear a suit because I'm boring but hopefully it gives them the chance for some people to be quite creative. I've been here once before in first year. The uh, ball that was held then was held in the Queen's Hotel. Hopefully I'm going to the right place. I have no idea where I'm going. Bro, where am I going? Actually, no idea. Ah, that ball up there is. Hi. 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 How's everyone? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. 
Well, the majority of the time that I was helping set up in the ball, my main job was to blow up balloons for all the various different bits of decoration that was needed for this event. And we had two plastic pumps which we used to blow up the balloons, but sadly, like maybe after 25 minutes, they broke. So I had to switch to just blowing the balloons up manually. And doing that for about two hours pretty much destroyed my brain and my lungs. So I was feeling very, very tired and I was fairly sure that my brain was going to switch off at some point. <laughs> Right, taking a break from all of the balloons that we had to blow up. Gonna go get some drinks and some food uh, for the committee because we're all starving and need stuff to eat. Provide even more energy for blowing up even more balloons. As part of the decorations, we've got helium balloons that spell out halfway ball 2020. Uh, and we have to walk like 10, 15 minutes, making sure that these balloons don't rip, which is going to be fun. Most difficult thing in the world, trying to get these balloons back in the wind and without them ripping. But luckily we managed to. And they look very nice, they look very cool. Right, so I have finished uh, helping set up for the ball this evening. I'm now off home to make sure my suit is in decent condition, get myself ready, have a shower, have a bit of a break, maybe play some video games, and then head off to Pre's. I'm gonna try and vlog all of tonight, but uh, I don't know how, uh, how able I'm going to be because uh, things might get very messy and I don't know if I'm gonna be in a condition to film, but we'll see as the night goes on. I swear to God, I must have some sort of amazingly bad sense of time when it comes to formal events. I am gonna be late. Uh, thankfully, it's just late to prees uh, because I was just ironing this shirt, which didn't even need to be ironed that much because it's a brand new shirt I bought just for this event. <sighs> I also had a shower, I'm nice and refreshed. I'm also very worried that I'm gonna get a lot of back sweat because it is 20 degrees and if I wear my coat, which, to be honest, is a fairly thick coat, I am going to boil alive. That being said, I have some nice refrigerated white wine to keep me cool. This is a fancy bottle of wine, and I know that because it's not shaped like a normal one. It has like a cool shape, and it was a Tesco club card discount. So, yay, saved like a fiver on this. I should probably stop talking to a camera and actually get ready because I have no idea where I put my bow tie and I need to call a taxi. <laughs> right, uh, I will do two photos. Right, pre drinks over, now heading into the hotel back in for the main event. I've had nearly a bottle of wine. I'm not sure if I'm in the best mindset to, uh, you know, host an event, but we'll see how it goes. I'm having a good time. Do a little, do a little action. There you go.
committee for coming tonight. Um, everyone looks amazing. Uh, females all your dresses are great. Males, you look very swish. Um, and just a big thank you to the NDU for sponsoring us. Uh, if anyone wants to join and prevent getting a lawsuit from a patient, then we'll put the link in the Facebook group and you can join afterwards. Um, <laughs> So also, after we've given the awards, we've put some quizzes on your tables um, and a pen. And the, that wins a prize for the best answers. Not necessarily the right answers, but the best answers. So yeah, answer with how you ever feel. So yeah, the end of third is here. Um, I'm not quite sure about you guys, but I'm not sure by the time when I remember sitting in the lecture theatre in first year. Um, and like Richard Pease was talking about so much stuff I did not understand and then you know now we're on board rounds with all the scary consultants shouting at us um, so yeah our first clinical year is done so to remember this um, we've just got a couple of like placement fails and mosque fails to share with you guys <laughs> so I have to admit I didn't choose the placement and mosque fails but the first placement fail I'm going to admit is mine so it was actually chose them and it, the first one's mine so what happened was I was trying to take blood from an elderly man's arm and I couldn't find a vein in his arm um, and basically I was like oh I'm afraid it's gonna have to be a hand job <laughs> so yeah I realised the mistake I made as soon as I was done <laughs> I guess that's where I signed up for those <laughs> Ask for a friend. Um, yeah, so another place we fail is so someone said they were trying to take a temperature from a patient's ear, but they accidentally pressed the wrong button and the little bit of the like plastic bit ejected into the patient's face and they got such a shock. So yeah. Um, and then McKean's gonna read out some of the funny Oski fails. So we've got some funny OSCE fails. Um, so this person had finished their lower limb examination early uh, and the patient said, oh, can you do that thing on my feet again? I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, I think they were referring to the palm to reflex. So basically I spent the last two minutes of my first OSCE station ever just playing around with the patient's foot with the back of a tented hammer. I'm not really sure why I did it. Taking a history is really important, as you know, and it's very important that you ask the relevant questions when you take a history. However, this is an example of how not to ask a relevant question, because apparently this patient, this person, asked the patient in an OSCE station if they had any difficulty getting or maintaining an erection in an AKI station. We can see that doing anatomy in line hasn't been everybody's best friend, especially whoever decided to accidentally call the big toe the thumb. <laughs> so that was a very brief selection um, of the stories that we got. Um, and now that we've done with some of the stories, um, we can move on to the awards that we have to present tonight. Um, the first award um, goes to two of my really very favourite people in this room today. Everybody of course is my favourite people, and including those two. Um, and the award for cutest couple goes to Jamie and Izzy! Short and sweet. Uh, it's been an amazing two and a half years with Izzy. Yeah. She's been a really intelligent, useful, woman, and then the bottom over there. And you're going to stop the now.
TV medic. Um, the person that won this award kind of was the outstander. They, they got most of the awards. Someone even said they could be the you know most likely to be a TV medic, but only on Good Morning Britain. Oh. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we probably all know who the winner of this award is going to, and it's going to Naffy. until one minute through, and I'm fairly sure, right at the end, I almost told the patient to piss off. So, uh, let's just say I've definitely failed one of my OSCE stations. Thank you very much. Okay, so slight order. This change of order, doesn't matter. Um, so, we've got this one, it's most likely to go on Love Island. Um, there are quite a few people who were mentioned in this one. Um, when I was looking through, though, there was, you know, a couple of people that stood out in particular. Um, but yeah, so the winner of most likely to go on Love Island from our medicine year is Delitzo. <laughs> to getting such a great smile. Uh, uh, I think I got my smile from my mum, so... This, uh, this award is the most likely to sack off medicine as soon as they graduate. The winner of this award is Gio. Where are you, Gio? Come on, Gio. Yeah, uh, thank you, everyone. I guess I'm uh, sucking medicine off. <laughs> Most likely 
to get a disease named after them. And the award for the person who is likely to get a disease named after them goes to May. from the award department. Um, so this one is the most frequently injured on nights out and there was quite a lot of random people on this who, a lot of people got like two votes or like one vote, um, but there was someone who got four votes. So yeah, and I actually have a video of this person from first year spilling a drink all over my head on Enigma. So the person that wins the most frequently injured on nights out goes to Peter. <laughs>
in the room probably will agree with, and I know I agree with. Um, just for the fact that this person doesn't turn up to anything, um, I'm in their place in the group, I've not seen them once on this rotation, and yeah, they, they just don't do a whole lot. So the award for the most lazy medic goes to Cameron Dick. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. Right. I'm done with my silly little things now. Uh, I've got a few more things to say. Uh, and this time, I would actually like to say a very huge well done for everybody who's made it so far. Um, for those of you who are articulating, um, I hope that you have a great time um, and that you make the most out of it. Um, whether you are staying here in the UK or going abroad, which is quite exciting, um, I hope that you are or you can be the best representative of yourself and the best representative of me. And I hope, and I hope that you have a great time. Uh, you will be very missed. Um, please do keep stay in touch, whether you stay in Leeds or leave. Uh, if you're going into fourth year next year, good luck. That includes me. Uh, I'm sure you'll smash it, and you'll make it through just like we've made it through the first three years. I hope you have a lovely evening. I hope you have a great summer. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Last 
last thing. This is the last thing I promise. Well, I can't promise, but I can promise. Um, the winner of the table quiz is Shirley Temple. That concludes my third year of medical school. Look, I even won an award to prove that I've done some stuff this year. Thank you very much for watching my vlogs this past year. Thank you very much for joining me this video and I will see you next time.